See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs> My dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Return, rebellious children, says the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city, two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. When you multiply and become fruitful in the land, says the Lord, they will in those days no longer say, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. They will no longer think of it, or remember it, or miss it, or make it another. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the Lord's throne. There all nations will be gathered together to honor the name of the Lord at Jerusalem, and they will walk no longer in their hard-hearted wickedness. The word of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles, and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd of our house of God. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrow. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest for perseverance. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. 
The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root at last only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word. But when worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But a seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirty-four. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Thanks to the technology right now, two days ago I was able to watch the live stream of an ordination of one of my students back home in the Philippines. And I just can't imagine how years go by, like almost 10 years of his formation in the seminary, and I saw him now getting ordained. And we called him back how he just entered the seminary the time he was so afraid, he was so homesick, and he would always try to ask the seminary fathers also because there are some things that he also said that he is not ready for the priesthood or not ready for seminary formation. But looking at that particular day when he was ordained, see how the grace of God really shapes one person. As we always tell them, the seminary, literally the word seminary is from the Latin, semen seminis, which means the seed. So truly, to be in the seminary is to become a seed. To become a seed, that falls on the ground, and by time, by season, you are formed to grow into a particular tree, for example. I think the same thing with what Jesus is trying to tell us today. The time that he planted the seeds among us is something that we need to take good care of. He plants the seed in our own hearts, which represents the Word. The Word of God is just simply received by us each day. And in our hearts, we would just simply receive it. And it is now our turn to cultivate it, to let it grow, to let it transform within our hearts, and thus making it fruitful. There is a good harvest on that particular seed that God has given us. The Word of God cultivated in our conscience, in our consciousness, and most especially translated in our own particular lives. And here we can see in our parable, there are lots of factors of which sometimes the Word didn't grow. It is maybe the lack of understanding, indifference, or just simply a sort of impulsive reception of the word. There is the enthusiasm at first, but as days go by, the enthusiasm just was simply lost. And thus, just the one who receives it goes back to one's ordinary self. So the transformation there is not consistent. And thus, it should be a continued formation and growth in our life as well. And thus, Jesus is trying to relate to us once again, my dear friends. Each day, we are nourished by the Word of God. Each day, 
we go to Mass and receive the grace of the sacraments. I think it's also time for us to discern the grace and the Word of God that we receive from the Lord each day. Has it grown within our own particular selves? Was it visible and translated in our day-to-day -day living? Has it changed our consciousness and our own way of looking at things, especially on how we love our brothers and sisters? Let us pray to the Father in heaven that the people may listen to this mighty word so that it may bear fruit among us. That the people of God may be open to God's word and convey it in a language that people can understand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those in public office may render their service with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that farmers and those who are into agriculture may be blessed with good weather and bountiful harvests. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick may find comfort and consolation from the words of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our beloved dead may rest in the heavenly kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Rosenda de Monte, to whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently we present our petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, speak your word to us and make us listen to it. May it bear the fruit of Christian living in us. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this bread we offer you, which is as given in human hands of may, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have this wine we offer you, which is the divine and work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual bread. Pray, my dear brethren, my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in this one perfect sacrifice brought the completion, buried offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him, has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels and the thrones and the dominions and all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the only o Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, and Barry our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. For Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Friends, we offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
soul of Christ, sanctify me. Holy Spirit, save me. Blood of Christ, save me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Lord Jesus, save me. May the wounds hide me. Let me never be. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray together for the intercession of Our Lady during this time of pandemic. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and the world, for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are a compassionate mother health of the sick, and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection, and keep us in the embrace of your arms. Have us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered when we go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Amen. 